Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Leos. Let's see what's going on between you and the person that's on your mind, okay? I do wanna thank you all. I wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages but also that way i'm able to tug on your energy okay guys please remember only take what you need leave everything else behind if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below that is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading okay all right i do call on the holy spirit i call on the white light that guides us i call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us show me spirit show me what it is i need to see for my leos Show me what it is that I need to see. So I do see that there's some there's breakthroughs that are happening between you and the person. I feel like there's a turning point. You could be dealing with a cancer, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's it's like you're leaning towards a turning point in the relationship, in the connection. Like you're finally starting to break ground is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Show me spirit. What's the current conflict for my Leos and the person that they're thinking about? seven of swords okay so there's been some issues there's been some deception there's been some possible cheating there's been some possible there's been some issues between you and this person what's influencing this king of wands in the reverse and aries leo sagittarius somebody here that was not faithful somebody wasn't faithful that's the current conflict aries leo sagittarius energy for some of you guys this could be you okay i'm also getting an energy of like it's not that i don't, I don't want to say non-committal but it is like it's it's like non-attracted like someone in this connection the current conflict is that they're no longer attracted they have eyes somewhere else the emperor here is somebody still wants to be controlling somebody still wants to be the boss the authority of this connection but somebody still wants to wander somebody still wants to entertain other things i'm hearing like as soon as some of you guys may have thought that things were moving forward then something happens again it's like another shoe drops yeah could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius show me spirit show me what's currently going on wow knight of pentacles so nobody's doing nothing like there's stagnation nothing's happening like a lot of you guys are ending things a lot of you guys the the person that you're thinking about there's there's an ending happening could be with a scorpio or an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn energy this is something that really and truly didn't have a lot of momentum to begin with this connection truly didn't have a lot of momentum to begin with with death here is telling me that right now present moment it's like you're about done this is about over this is there's an ending that's going to be happening or that's happening in this connection right now present moment what's influencing this spirit the sun in reverse leo energy you're not happy you're not happy mm -mm. you're not happy in this connection the magician gemini virgo energy you're manifesting what is my leo's manifesting spirit wow strength leo energy that's your energy you are manifesting what are you manifesting the tower you're trying to avoid destruction like you know that there's an ending that needs to happen for some of you guys you intuitively know that an ending needs to happen it's like you know that you need to part ways with someone here you're trying to let someone off lightly someone could be trying to let you off lightly but i'm getting an energy of trying to avoid destruction trying to avoid drama that's what i'm getting like a lot of you guys you're trying to avoid drama temperance trying to be patient 
could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. We have a, could be another Leo. We have Gemini, Virgo, strong Leo energy. Your energy is all up and through here. This is your energy. You're not satisfied. You're not happy right now, present moment in this, in this relationship, this connection with the person that you're thinking about right now, present moment. With all honesty, the energy is someone here, actually someone's cheated. Someone here can't, someone here does not want to be faithful. But I'm also getting an energy of someone here wanting to, wanting to be in control whether they're faithful or not. Someone here wants to be respected. Someone here wants to be con in control. Someone here wants somebody to accept, accept the situation for what it is. Someone here wants somebody to be okay with the way the situation is. And someone is like, uh-uh, not happy at all. No. Give me past energy between my Leo and the person they're thinking about. The high priestess, someone wasn't listening to their intuitions. Someone wasn't listening to their intuition, but someone entered this connection with secrets and hidden motives. Motive. Somebody here wasn't showing their true self. Someone entered in this to this connection in the past and wasn't showing their true self. Someone here was highly sexual prior to this connection. Pisces energy. The hangman. Someone here is her free spirit. Someone here is a free spirit. Someone here, yeah, in the past, that's past energy. Someone here wanted to be free. Somebody really and truly wasn't being honest. They wasn't being honest with what they really and truly wanted. Or even if they were being honest, someone here was not, like someone thought that they could change someone else. Or someone thought that somebody else would change them. Somebody thought that there would be forward movement. There would be a breakthrough in this connection. Someone thought the circumstances would change and it did not. It has not. No. No. Nine of Pentacles. Someone here is like, I can do bad by myself. Someone here wants to be by themselves. Six of Wands. This is where they feel like they fit best. Somebody feels like being by themselves is what's best for them. Somebody here gets a lot of attention. Someone here gets a lot of attention. And look at that. Yeah. They're not, someone here is not giving to this connection. We have Cancer Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy could be a Virgo. Someone here is not giving to this connection itself. Someone here is emotionally detached. Someone here is emotionally detached, extremely guarded. And I see someone walking away, disconnecting, like there's a disconnect with the Ace of Pentacles going towards something else. Could be a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy. There's conflict over text messages with a baby mama. Someone here could be married or in a relationship and have somebody else pregnant on the side. The lovers, Gemini energy. We have Taurus, Gemini. Yeah, someone here could actually have someone on the side, could be married, living with someone here. And someone's going to see by somebody's phone. Something's going to have to end. Somebody's going to have to end. And ending's going to happen. Somebody's married and they're going to end a side piece um, connection. Could be with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Hmm, somebody's extremely, somebody's in love. This Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is in love. But the other person is going to stay with the person from their past. They're going to stay with the person that they have children with. And they're going to heal this situation. And they're going to leave this person that is in love with them out in the cold. Yeah, they're going to make a decision to leave that person out in the cold. This is some of you Leos. Yeah, making a decision to leave that person out in the cold. Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see who's this person. Show me spirit. Who is the person that's on my Leo's mind? Whoa, okay. Who's this person that's on my Leo's mind? Triangle. <laughs> Third party energy. 
This is a crowded relationship. Somebody has a lot of choices. Who's this person that's on my Leo's mind? Somebody that's in something else or you could be in something else. This is giving me third party energy. Lighter than darker. Let's take all that back. Somebody that has lighter than darker hair. It says fair male. But this could be a this this is just giving me masculine energy. Who is this person, spirit? I just got for someone here, and guys, this message is meant for someone. It is not meant for everyone, but somebody could truly be married or in a relationship and have a relationship with somebody with the same sex. Somebody that here that likes to buy buy gifts for someone here. Somebody that likes to pop up, show up, surprise. This could be somebody that you work with. For some of you guys, this person is somebody that actually sends you gifts at work. This could be somebody that's undergoing a divorce, a boss, an entrepreneur. Somebody that's emotionally detached, but look, freedom, being single, casual. Somebody this somebody here doesn't want to have a relationship. Somebody here doesn't want to commit, be in a long-term relationship. Someone here wants to be single. And guys, remember, energy is fluid. This, this You flip it and switch it however you see fit, but somebody here wants to be single. Somebody here is in a third party energy here. Yeah, let's see. What does this person want to say to my Leo spirit? What does this person want to say to my Leos? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Somebody's having to let you go or you're having to let someone go. It says, I wonder if you are happy without me. Someone's wondering if you're happy without them. You know what I get? For some of you guys, this is third party energy. And it's the person that, ain't that something? It's the person that you let. Mm, is the person that you let go of wondering if you're truly happy because you no longer messing with them that message is meant for someone specific I, it says i wish things could be different but it's not because i'm definitely getting a third party energy i'm definitely for some of you guys this is a marriage or a relationship where there's children involved or living together look at that i'm not available somebody is not available Somebody's not available. For some of you guys, this is somebody that you work with. It's like a little fling thing. I knew exactly what I was doing. Someone knew exactly what it was that they were doing, whether this be you or somebody that's in your energy. This You are this person knew exactly what you were doing at the time that you were doing it. All right, let's see. What's the outcome, spirit? What's the outcome between Leo and the person that's on their mind? Oh, wow. Release your ex. An engagement. I feel like somebody is going to have to truly walk away from something and then somebody's going to actually commit and commit to a relationship. It's not going to be until someone truly releases someone else before this relationship actually moves to a higher commitment. Somebody could truly be releasing the other person to and entering into an engagement near marriage with that honeymoon card it says the time has come to clear your energy. Someone here needs to clear their energy because somebody is taken. All right, my loves, if any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time. Bye, guys.